so right now I'm there's a lot going on in the world so it's interesting and people have different ideas of who's doing what um, it's very interesting that everything is geared to the far right and the far left nothing in the middle and I think that's that's very sad but what can you do you're if you go one way you're grouped it as far left if you go with the other you're grouped as far right so I'm I'm not far left or far right I'm in the middle but anyway politics is not my thing but it is something that I'm concerned about very concerned um trying to withdraw myself from the politics it's it's difficult to do when so many people are trying to pull you into it um yes i i've i thought maybe i should take my facebook down because <laughs> every time i look at it it i i see things that are very disturbing to me and even from people that i know and like there are very disturbing things and i'm going ooh, how can they think that way that's that's so disturbing but <laughs> I just have to let it go, I guess. I, I just don't read Facebook much more. I, I I I go on there to see friends, but I don't even I go I can't consider them truly my friends if that's how they their thought processes are so messed up. So I'm like, ooh. Why that's... not? Why not? I mean people just like treat them as um uh people who are messed up yep that's how i am i didn't i didn't uh erase them or block them or do anything i just was very disturbed by them right yeah i um yeah i i, I was um doing the political um monologues and uh, i participated in some um, group uh, panel like panel discussions on politics but it was so tight tough on my health so i had to stop like i recently stopped but um basically when it kind of became um how to explain it became um intruding into my life a lot intruding so politics really affected our daily schedule right and the plans and everything else. So I needed to figure out what's happening and I did figure it out. And once I figured it out, I thought I need to tell it to people and I realized um, even if, if I tell it to people, they don't understand, don't listen and they don't believe it. So what's the point of telling it? Even on Hukul, no. I'm, I'm holding off telling it to people on Hukul because they're not interested in listening and, and, and hearing the answers. No. Yeah. They're letting aliens rule their political thought process, and that is not the alien's place in, in this. If aliens are telling you how to vote, then you need to recon, rethink it. <laughs> <laughs> because now I see that some of these aliens that are saying they're very positive, are they, they're not. They're really? working their own agenda. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't see I don't see the aliens as positive as I used to. Wow. I'm still seeing them as positive. I just don't um, I don't think they understand much. No, I don't think that I think they have their own agenda that they're trying to push for a particular reason and I and I sort of think I know what the reason is is because secretly they are not for us they are against us and I I see that now but I didn't see it then 
but I just won't, won't say anything. I'm not going to say anything. I just won't associate with them anymore. Really? You mean Gorfit near? No, not them. Oh, which ones? Uh, like some of the Octorian councils. Really? Yeah. I see there's a there's good Octorian councils and then there's Octorian councils that are not so good. They have different they have they show themselves in different ways and I see that difference. So I don't call on them anymore. Okay. So like the the ones that are doing poli political stuff, I don't call on them. The one, because they're pushing their agenda and trying to get their thought their agenda across for some reason. And I don't trust that. They don't belong to our planet. They don't need to be telling us who to vote for. I'm, I'm, I don't think voting will change much. I think um, it's... Um, well, I it's, see many people from Human Colony that are following uh, the council politically of those out there and, and saying, oh, they're saying uh, this and that and the other thing. And then it, I, I just can't trust that. Pol aliens should not be in our politics. I, I don't see why not. I do. It's, they don't know what's, how we live. They don't know what we're going through. And so they're trying to push their agenda and I don't trust that. But I don't think um, either of the candidates would change anything. I think what happens on the surface is, um, has very little to do what, to what is happening in reality. You're right, in many cases. But one of them is probably easier for the cabal to manipulate than the other. Still, I mean, they are so, all the economy, all the corporations, all the army stuff, the bureaucracy, the media, all, all is under control of the, of, the, um, of the cabal. So there is, you know, whatever happens yeah. on the surface doesn't really matter. Yeah, but the, the thing is, if, that's the excuse everybody will make. Oh, it's, the cabal has in charge anyway. So we just let it go. It doesn't matter. But it does matter in some ways. I think that some changes can be made uh, against them. And I know the Q is against them. And now they've taken QAnon off because he's a fake. Um, but uh, because no Q person would come to the surface and uh, try to st strategize toward a political party. That's just not what they do. They work totally secretly and underground and do not show their opinion, do not show their hand in any way. And so whoever this QAnon is, is a fraud because that would jeopardize their mission. So they're, they're uh, totally quiet and uh, secretive. They don't come to the surface like that. So whoever that is, they were taken off of Facebook, I think. And people will say, oh, they must have been telling the truth because they're being uh, destroyed by the man. Well, they were saying that Democrats eat babies and they were saying some really just bizarre stuff. So it needed to be taken away because that was just whole purely wrong <laughs> so but of course they are entitled to their uh, opinion and freedom of speech so they shouldn't have been taken off yeah i'm uh, i'm just disappointed at people in general i think uh, the the people these people deserve this government Yes, you're right, they do. So the only way is to educate the people and... Um, but what is the true education? Can you really see it? 
Um, new, new age, new age. It's new age, yes. It's enlightened, it's progressive, it's forward thinking, yes. I agree with that. I don't see either one of these candidates as that. Right. But I think maybe the, the new generation will be more a new age and uh, eventually they will. Well, it is starting to come bubble up from under the ground. Yeah. Some of the enlightenment is starting to become uh, something that people are aware of. More people are waking up and starting to feel that enlightenment and that spirituality that is there, which is good. I'm glad. And everything that I say is just my opinion, and it, it may be totally wrong, but at least I have uh, the right to express it. So, and I have the right to listen to others express their opinion as well. I have been swayed a little bit here and there by some of the things that were said, but then I look at the, what I, I look at exactly what's being said by the, from the horse's mouth, so to speak. And I make my own interpretations from, and they say that everything is twisted, and but it's not all twisted. Some of it is, some of it isn't. You just don't know what to believe because they do twist it so much and so often. I, um, my, my, my hope is that, um, so they, the um, cabal went into attack basically that's covid is a major attack on the humanity yes they are and um, and then there will be obviously the desire of them to grab the power and uh, to create um, lots of dictatorships lots of totalitarian dictatorships yes and at that point i think people will awaken because yes because uh, it becomes so obvious that it's uh, it yes. uh, forces uh, forces awakening. So that's I the whole. And that. once people awaken, then the the dictatorships will fall because they always fall. So it takes first uh, for the cabal to take power, and then it, the awakening will follow. And then um, so we'll have to live through that. Because without awakening, we cannot solve that by any leadership. People have to awaken. People have right. to understand that they have been treat, uh, cheated. And, you uh, are absolutely correct. And, and I agree we, with what you said. And yes, I, I absolutely agree that that is true. And COVID is, uh, is uh, already like the facts already came out. It just, uh, and people connected them and there are sites and uh, the whole story is pretty clear how it was engineered and the whole situation is engineered. So they didn't hide it well enough and I don't think they even care to hide it. The cabal didn't care to hide it. So they think that their plan is so good that it's, it can't fail. I don't even know why, but they didn't try to, to hide it well enough. So, no. so um, a little so bit of truth is dangerous information because only part of that truth is revealed. And so if they give you a little bit of truth, then they, then you can speculate on the rest of it, but they didn't give you all the truth. So that can be a very dangerous thing. A little truth is very dangerous. Um, uh, it's better than nothing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. No, no, yeah. I, think, I think in general, just looking at the history, the dictatorships and the totalitarian systems just fall under their own weight. They, 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 not, they, don't, they can't function on, on this planet. And uh, obviously, they want to control everybody electronically. And again, it's um, it's a system which is uh, prone to failures. I think uh, hopefully they the technologies won't be uh, good enough to to do that completely. So people will eventually awaken. It's really hard to do it on a global scale. They did it on Chinese scale, and sort of it worked. But you know, 
expanding Chinese uh, experience to the globe is um, is tricky, especially like now, especially in America, because America is used to think they are free and uh, switching to the Chinese model is not to their liking, would not be to their liking. No, no, they would not like that. So creating an American version of Chinese totalitarianism, like something of, you know, the wartime. But in the wartime, I don't know, there was a lot of freedom too. It wasn't all restricted. There was a lot of, uh, yeah, there was a McCar McCarthy time where uh, there was like witch hunting and uh, blacklists and stuff like that. But uh, of course, but, that will happen uh, again. People were afraid for sure, but uh, also that uh, gave birth to resistance. Right. Well, that'll happen again. The witch hunting and all that, it has already started. That part's already started. So I don't think taking sides in politics makes any sense. I think it's uh, the light workers have to uh, do the work which is perpendicular to that, is not in that plane of, um, of the Correct, I agree. Something completely different, more like tribal com com community building. It's it's off the grid work. Yep. And I agree with that. Unplugged. I, it's just so disturbing to watch. All right. You can watch it as a comedy. And it is. It actually, but it's a very dark one. <laughs> yeah, like um it's my um Monty Python um global scale. Yeah, Monty Python global scale. You're right. Absolutely. So, and for those who don't know Monty Python, they should watch a couple of those. They're actually quite cleverly done. So, <laughs> some of them. Uh, are you intending this to publish? Huh? Are you intending to publish this this conversation? Um, do you think we should? That's up to you. <laughs> okay, I will. I will, sure uh, will cause a lot of confusion, but you know, for those who are enlightened and understand what we're talking about truly, they will get it. But those that are under one uh, thought process or another, they might be offended by it. But it doesn't matter to me anymore. Yeah, uh, I, I'm not here to offend anybody, but. Uh, but I just am offended by both parties. So. Oh yeah, that's a yeah, that's a joke. Yeah, that's a joke. Like um, choose between bad and bad. Yeah. Unacceptable and unacceptable. What's your choice? And and to say that one is good is, uh, you better go back and look at the facts again. No, no, I mean. The, the 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 idea is that uh, there is a faction of, of military which um, invited Trump to 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 rule, and uh, they are supporting him. And so basically, there is some underground military support for him. I I don't exclude that that message, but it doesn't mean that Trump is super nice. It's like you know he still is bringing a lot bringing up a lot of negativity, like especially. Wow behaviorally like uh white well, white supremacism yeah. and uh, uh i'm an immigrant so like his relation to immigrants is very inhumane yes and uh, economical policies seem to be pretty weird yes uh, and as a person he seems like He's red hair. That's what I support. Yeah, he is. Has uh, red hair. That's what you support. Yeah, he is. Uh, <laughs> how do you say? Uh, pretty bold in his in his um, desires, and that's that, that's I think is is a good thing. But uh, everything else is I don't know. Um, and he's sort of transparent. He's a bully. That's what I don't support. I don't like bullies. He's certainly a bully. 
Uh, I, I looked at his, I studied his biography. He was um, clearly working with the mafia, like criminal mafia to do certain things in his, most of his career. He didn't do dirty things himself, but uh, that was like right hand of his or like friend of his was, was pretty well established in a criminal circle. Yes. Yep, I know that. And when you read his autobiography, it's autobiography, you can clearly see their miracles when just his, uh, his opponent gets uh, unfair treatment by the court and Trump just makes fun of it. Yes. Uh, you shouldn't be trusting the court, he says. Of course, you know, if, if the court is paid to, um, to take his side, then yeah. Yeah, yes, he pays the court. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, the thing is, many people find him, um, his leadership style attractive because it's so overpowering. He's such an overpowering personality. And uh, they say, well, well, that's the strength we need, but it's a bullying strength. It's not a leadership strength, in my opinion. So it's not what I would want. But it's, like you said, the choice between bad and bad. I will vote for Green Party. Not because oh, I like them. A but Green Party candidate? Not because I like them, but it's like the 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 least the least damaging i guess <laughs> all right oh well we better get going did you want to uh channel with someone today right uh let me stop and restart the recording okay